Fox 5 Health News. Hospitals in the D.C. area are seeing a surge in patients as a respiratory illness that mostly affects children makes the rounds in China. All right, joining us now, Dr. Serge Sucker, Chief of Infectious Diseases at Holy Name. Doctor, thanks for being with us. So I guess, you know, we hear this, we get concerned mm -hmm. that there's another pandemic in the making, but when you dig a little deeper, it appears this may be just the fact that China was under a very strict lockdown, and now people there are just sort of getting run-of-the-mill viruses. Yeah. Is that what you're hearing? Uh, well, yeah, thanks for having me, guys. Actually, Steve, I couldn't say it better than myself. You know, what we know now, it is occurring mainly in Beijing and the northern provinces. But as you alluded to, this is nothing uh, that needs to be of overt global concern at the present time. This is by no means the same type of surge we saw uh, in China and the United States and around the world with COVID-19 in 2020. And as you mentioned, what we're with the, uh, I have reported to WHO, which have done in a very timely fashion, is that indeed it's the typical viral illnesses that we're seeing also in the United States, as you mentioned, in D.C., uh, RSV, COVID, influenza, parainfluenza. And so, you know, the idea is that, yes, they are seeing a surge. This is not unexpected. You remember their, their shutdowns and their mask wearing were even more dramatic, if you will, and more uh, uh, strict than they were in other parts of the world. And so really what may have happened is that children were, were shielded from exposure to typical viral illnesses that are seen this time of year. Colder months, holidays, people congregating inside. It's really no surprise that you're seeing a surge, but it's by no means a global concern or a so-called pandemic 2.0. Okay, and let's talk about our next topic because it's a new study is finding a growing number of parents are giving their kids melatonin to help them sleep. So, doctor, walk us through, um, you know, what this means and, and is it like we're getting our kids dependent on sleep aids early on? Yeah, so first of all and foremost, melatonin in the United States is a dietary supplement. It's not requires a prescription like it does in other parts of the world. Now, melatonin is a normal hormone. It's produced by the brain. It helps to regulate sleep cycles. With the study, which was recently published in JAMA Pediatrics, found about 900 patients studied that one in five parents utilize this for their own children, oftentimes seen in, uh, for unclear reasons, fathers and younger parents. Again, this is a very small study size, but it is echoing what we've seen across the board is that a, that uh, children under the age of 14 are reporting sleep issues. Now, whether that's related to uh, issues and stress related to the pandemic and, and beyond, whether that's related to uh, screen time, smartphones, et cetera, that are oftentimes used in the wee hours of the night, it's unclear. But it's very clear that children are having are reporting to their parents uh, that they are having issues with sleep and that parents are more likely to use pharmotherapy like, like uh, melatonin. I think what should be important for any parents out there listening is that it's not with a, without its side effects. At the very least, it can cause daytime sleepiness, nausea, vomiting, and headaches. And the reality is that we don't know what the long-term effects of melatonin are in adults, much less in children and young adolescents. Yeah, no, that is frightening to know for sure. All right, good stuff, doctor. We appreciate it. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me.